Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So it is finally January 9th and Neo Day, in my opinion, was crazy insane and I'm actually even more bullish on Neo than I was before. So we're gonna go over some of the things that they showed in the presentation, right? The first thing that they did show was basically the, the power swap 2.0. So it basically has three times the capacity, which is about uh, 312 daily swaps and it would auto, you press like a button and it would like auto park your car for you and would do everything like that. And there's only like 100 right now in China, I believe. And they expect to have about around 500 by the end of 2021. So that's um that's pretty good. It's like another 400 than it already has. And well, they better have a lot because if they expect to sell 150,000 cars, they're going to have to have a lot of battery swaps. And saying that there's going to be about 40% of people actually doing the battery as a service, they're going to need a lot of those power swaps out there those machines to swap out the batteries as fast and as quick as possible because there's going to be a lot of cars coming soon and basically even more after that they're going to need about i would say maybe even like a thousand of these maybe by the end of 2022 it's especially if they predict that they would sell about 300,000 cars in that year they also announced a 150 kilowatt hour battery pack which is crazy. A solid, it's basically a solid state battery, and it's expected to give about 1,000 kilometers of range, and it ex is expected to be out in quarter four of 2022. 1,000 kilometers is about 620 ish, 621 miles. So, 600 miles per battery, that's pretty good. You won't really need to uh, swap your batteries that much unless you're driving an insane amount. Also, they announced the ET7 which is an insane car. And I might do another video about that, just the car by itself, all the specs and how it looks like and everything because it's a nice looking car. And it's expected to start deliveries in the first quarter of 2022, so basically next year. And the prices are a little bit different for, for the 70 kilowatt hour battery, it's about $69,000 at US. But if, they, if you choose to do the battery as a service, it's about 58,000, which is big, it knocks off of about $11,000. And if you want to get the 100 kilowatt hour battery, it's going to cost about 78000 But if you do the batteries as a service, it's going to knock off 20 k Okay. And how would you do that? It's because you probably have to pay more monthly for the battery as a service if you want to do a more bigger 100 kilowatt hour one, which is pretty good. And the big one, this is the big one that I see is the autonomous driving. The I believe it's a Aquila. And it's been there's been some huge upgrades. It basically runs on NVIDIA chips. And it can do about 8 gigabytes of info per second. And the big thing is that they're going to do autonomous driving as a service, just like the battery. So they're basically doing this battery as a service for monthly income. And then the autonomous driving for monthly income. So they're doing everything totally different than what um, Tesla's doing. Is if you can just buy everything straight up, right? If you want the car with this battery, then you have to buy it straight up. If you want the, a bigger battery, then you have to buy a new car straight up. And if you want to buy the, um, autonom the autonomous driving, like the package, the software, then you have to put the money straight up to get it. And if you want to upgrade, you got to do the upgrade for it. But for Neo, you basically, if you want the 70 kilowatt hour battery, then you pay maybe, a hundred, say, $150. And if you want a, a bigger battery, maybe you have to pay another 50 to 100 bucks. And if you want autonomous driving, maybe you have to pay another 50 to 100 bucks per month on that. Over time, if it keeps getting better and better, they're probably going to increase the prices, which is honestly, it kind of reminds me of how Apple is doing it. Like they sell the, your phone and then they do the services, right? You could do your, your music, right? Or your, your streaming services and any, all that stuff. And it slowly builds over time. And it becomes a huge money grabber. It's probably going to be a big part of their business. Over the long run, this is going to be big, right? That's going to be big. Most people are going to pay some good money monthly for these cars and for all these upgrades. And as time goes on, they're going to be bigger batteries. There's going to be more upgrades to your autonomous driving. And if you want the best of the best, you're going to pay a pretty nice penny for it. And the car is looking very nice. I really like it a lot. And this is just more revenue more profits in the future that neo is going to be having and honestly as soon as monday hits i just can't i can't wait for monday right honestly i'm willing to probably put about another three thousand dollars into it on monday and i'll still keep doing 
I'll still keep selling puts every week to get about the two hundred to three hundred dollars per week. So most likely, I will just keep averaging up. I don't even care. Like I'll keep averaging up. I believe that this company will be huge. This is just insane. The autonomous driving as a service is that's gonna be a big money. That's gonna be big money in the future. Big money. I'm just excited. The car is very nice, and I'm I'm just I'm. I don't know. I can't, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments what you guys, your opinion on the Neo Day and what uh, you think is going to happen. And if you think it's good, if it was all right, if it was bad, let me know down in the comments what your opinion was on it. And for me, I liked it a lot. I like the car a lot. It's very nice. And with all these things that I'm seeing, I just only see Neo keep, like, keep going up and keep breaking their all-time highs. So uh, thanks for watching.